Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to do a master class. The master class will be used to control all our weapons in the game. So for an example, we're going to have a rifle, a shotgun and a sniper rifle. We need to be able to control those weapons with only one blueprint. What we're going to need to do is creating a master class. So first we're going to right click and create a blueprint class. It's going to be a type actor. I'm going to call that BP underscore weapon for a master class I'm going to open it in this we're going to have to figure out everything that all our weapon have in common right they're going to have a lot of things in common so it's what we're going to work on it first here in the component section all our weapon will have a static mesh not a static mesh a skeleton mesh so we're going to add a skeleton mesh and the skeleton mesh will be our first person gun and we can drag that right over default scene because we don't need a default scene we're gonna also have a static mesh that's gonna be the flashlight so each gun will have a flashlight uh, except for the sniper rifle so the shotgun and the rifle will have a flashlight so we're gonna add this so with the static mesh selected we're gonna add a spotlight so we're gonna search for spotlight so we're going to use a spotlight as a reference, not a reference, but to simulate our flashlight. And we're just going to name it flashlight. So we have our static mesh for flashlight. So if we do have a static mesh, you can do, you know, you can use a cylinder or anything you want. So we can add that right here and you have your flashlight itself right here. So on the flashlight selected, we're going to make sure this um, the intensity is maximum so we can see far as we can in the game and we're going to compile that obviously you can change the beam color you can play with few settings so let me see what setting i put in the other project so we have something similar i put uh, the outer cone at 26 here so we're going to put 26 i will i put the inner cone at 10 and we're going to make sure that it's not casting any shadow so we're going to remove the shadow and the attenuation radius is going to be maximum and we should be good for now if we click on our first person skeleton mesh we can add a rifle just to a reference the static mesh for a light so we're going to have the static mesh here so we're going to move that right here and we're going to make sure that we click here so we can rotate this at 90 degree so if we click on flashlight now it's pointing the good direction perfect so we're going to compile this so this should be set up after that it's just you know adjusting it when we get a gun just adjusting it at a good place but by default it's going to be right there so when we're going to add our blueprint gun that's going to be child of the master one we're going to be able to go in that those blueprint and adjust the light exactly where we want on the gun but in the master blueprint it's already there kind of set up for us so we won't have to do too much in the uh, child blueprint so we're going to go to the event graph we're going to remove those two nodes and here everything that each of our guns have in common they have a lot of thing in common when you start thinking about it uh, so first thing we're going to create a variable and it's going to be the weapon name each weapon have a name so we're going to make sure it's a text so weapon name and we're going to put text here and we're going to put that under weapon for the category so now what the weapon have also in common well they have all sound so we're going to have a weapon sound and we're going to change this for a sound base base here we go right here and it's going to be an object reference make sure we put that under weapon so the sound base give it us if we compile access to put a sound here so depending on the gun we have we can put a sound here for each of the guns so it's not all the same sound also all our weapon do different damage we're gonna put float after that all our weapon have a recoil we're gonna add recoil the recoil come in four parts so we're gonna have minimum pitch after that we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna have our maximum pitch 
we're gonna duplicate again this time it's gonna be the minimum yaw and we're gonna duplicate and it's gonna be our maximum yaw there we go we're gonna make sure that all of this is under weapon for the category the last thing we have to put in the weapon itself is the fire rate I'm gonna put it right there so the fire rate for our automatic weapon will be default at point 0.1 and obviously you can change all of that those value in the child blueprint of your weapon itself after this what else are weapon or sharing they have ammunition so we're gonna have our current ammo in clip and we're gonna put that under the category ammunition so ammunitions I don't know how to write that I guess ammunitions perfect and in that we have our current ammo in the clip so what we have in our weapon at the time we're gonna duplicate this and now it's gonna be our current spare ammo so what we have in reserve after that we're gonna duplicate this again and this time it's gonna be our max clip size so max clip size so the maximum of bullets that we can carry in the weapon at the time we're gonna duplicate this again and it's going to be our max spare ammo so the maximum of ammo that each weapon can carry we're going to duplicate again and this time it's going to be our temporary ammo which is going to be used when we are reloading it's going to hold the value for us temporarily we're going to duplicate again and this time it's going to be our shotgun pallets as you know shotgun don't shoot bullets they shoot a bunch of bullets right those little pallets so we're going to compile and the minimum pallet they're going to shoot at once is going to be 20. i know it's way more than this but you know 20 it's pretty good for the game and it's 20 line trace that's going to hit at different location okay and what else all the weapon has in common well they also have in common some boolean so the first boolean will be is the weapon automatic we're going to make sure we type for boolean so do that weapon is automatic yes or no we're going to do a category and going to put this in boolean as well we're going to duplicate this and can our uh, weapon fire so can fire because if we're reloading we don't want to fire so we're going to use this boolean to control this we're going to add another variable this one will be is reloading so for reloading we're going to activate this boolean each of our gun if they have a flashlight on it so as flashlight after that what they have as well well they have different bullet types right as i said we're gonna have a shotgun a rifle and a, a sniper so we're gonna do three different bullets a bullet type the first one will be our 12 gauge after that we're gonna duplicate this or 556 for the rifle and we're gonna duplicate that again and we're gonna have our 776 for our sniper rifle and after that we need to create another boolean and this time it's going to be sniper we're going to duplicate we're going to have um shotgun and uh, probably you already guess it's going to be rifle one more thing and it's going to be a reference to our um first person character so right here we're gonna cast to our first person character here first person character and we're gonna get the owner and we're gonna do a reference to this there we go so now we have our reference i'm gonna select 
this and make sure I put that under ref category. So if you compile all that and you go in default class, now you get access to all of that. All weapons, so when you're gonna have your weapon, like your rifle for an example, well, you're gonna put the sound for the rifle, how much damage you do, how much recoil for all of them, the ammunition for everything you want, and that gun is it an automatic weapon? Yes or no? Uh, has a flashlight? Yes or no? What kind of bullet it's using? So we have it right here, and uh, what type of weapon it is, right? So we do use it here. I know there's a little better way to do this. I could have something like a menu or something i can select go down instead of having like for example you have 100 guns you don't want you know 100 names for guns here right so i know there's another way to to do this here so i'm gonna use it that way for now and obviously you can always change everything in the future so let me check if there's anything else to do in this so we're gonna create a function and we're gonna call that as ammo and it's gonna be our current clip so let's just get that so current ammo in clip and we're gonna search for greater so let's just get a greater here and we're gonna search for a return node and just plug it right there quite simple and actually I did a big mistake here so all those uh, variable for ammunition are not float, but will be an uh, integer. Because bullets are... Now we can just unplug. Unplug this, remove, and we can plug it back right there. So now I do believe we do have everything. Let me check. Let create a variable so we're going to have an animation for our reload it's going to be a reload montage and we're going to search for anim montage we're going to take our object reference and we're going to create another one and this one will be our anim for fire montage so fire montage Perfect. And I'm going to put that under the category anim to make sure that both are in it. Oops. There you go. So let me double check, make sure that we do have everything this time. At the end of the day, we can always come back here. Uh, well, I think we're good for now. So I'm going to conclude this video because now we're going to get ready to work in it. But we do have all the variables that we need uh, to start working on our uh, weapon masterclass. So I'll catch you on the next one.